introduction we all experience different types of motions every day some scientists like galileo were interested in this and did the famous rolling ball experiment to understand motion better an important thing about motion is that it's relative motion is not all by its own it's always dependent that is motion can be described only with respect to something for example let us consider the difference of day and night at two different countries when it is daytime in india it is night in new york this explains the motion of earth with respect to the place of reference covered in an interval of a specific motion is said to be distance distance has magnitude but does not require any specific direction and hence is a scalar quantity the shortest distance between two points is called displacement displacement does not have a specific direction and is vector displacement is represented by a straight whereas distance may consist of curve to scientific units meter m average speed and average velocity as we know speed is defined as distance upon time similarly average speed is the distance covered by an object in unit time it is a vector quantity average speed is equal to total distance by total time taken average displacement of an object in a particular direction is called average velocity it is a vector hence velocity is along the direction of the displacement average velocity is equal to displacement by time taken these quantities explain the motion of a body in a given time interval but not at an instance of time velocity things in motion often have variations in their speeds for example a car may travel along a street at 50 km per hour get down to 0 km per hour and then attain a speed of 30 km per hour due to traffic on the road we can tell the speed of the car at any instance by looking at its speedometer the speed at any instance is called instantaneous speed velocity is the speed of an object in a specified direction it is a vector it is represented by a directed line segment its length indicates speed and arrow gives the direction of motion if a body moves in a curved path the tangent drawn at a point on the curve 
gives direction of velocity at that instant. The velocity at an instant of time is called instantaneous velocity. Acceleration The rate of change of velocity is called acceleration. Whenever there is a change in the velocity of a body caused by change in its speed or direction of motion, either case the body is said to be accelerator. When there is equal change in equal intervals of time and or the ratio of change in velocity to time taken is equal, then the body is said to have uniform acceleration. The term acceleration can be applied to decreasing velocities too. The scientific unit of acceleration is m by s square. My video gun ka mikna chunat laite like chendi share chendi. Elanti marini videos kosong. My channel is subscribe chase kodam matra machipokandi. Thank you for watching.